Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Suit Monotai. Last time, I reached Olivine City and got myself some interesting items. And now it's time to go for a swim. There's a whole lot of trainers out here between me and Sianwood City. And we're gonna beat them all up. Probably put those in the PC, but whatever. A couple of them are actually down here, away from where we need to go. Oh wait, I already battled you. Right. They're over here. saying something that even with a type advantage, he's not actually doing that much damage. Then again, Shelter is not a particularly powerful Pokemon. And it's raining again. There we go. Come on. Oops. Go this way. So we're on the far eastern end of the islands. And we're just going to systematically beat everyone up. That was a clutch stat boost. I think it's supposed to learn extra sensory at some point, to be mistaken. Maybe that's Gen 4. Fuck off. You know what? Yeah, maybe you'd be better served having leftovers. If you're gonna double edge anyway. There's another one. That was quick. Yeah, huge power plus rollout. Quite powerful. I think that's at least everyone over here. Wait, no. There's a couple more. I'm gonna go back and heal fairly soon, just I mean I could just go right to Seongwood City, but I'm also here to get the experience because the level curve is gonna pick up. Oh, wait, or I've been this way. Do 
now. We are and now we're back. Still raining. Huh. Well, that's a graphic switch. Okay, so let's go around this way. Nope. We're not playing your games. Fuck off and die. There's a couple more swimmers down here. Are. Fine, be that way. I really need to get this thing a move other than ancient power. Now we could go right to the gym, but we're not going to. Because, of course, there is another battle waiting for us. And it's up here to the north. Yeah, that was the guy back in Gen 2 who would let you, uh, well, get your picture taken. And if you had the Game Boy printer, you could print them out. Oh yeah, so if you're wondering what this NPC is, it, uh, this NPC is meant to tell you how the evolutions of various species are changed. Like, for example, Gengar Balls of the Moonstone. There goes Suicune. He's a little obsessed, isn't he? Let's go back. Oh, and now we need to go and get the uh, medicine from the pharmacy. And unlike in vanilla um, Gen 2 or the remakes, you can actually buy medicine here. We'll get some hyper potions. And some full heals. And some revives. And now, let's go. So, of course, now it's the fighting type gym. Oh, that reminds me, I can use strength now. So, uh, after this, I'll have to go and show you guys something. Well, a couple things, actually. So, yeah. This should be a cakewalk. Very simple strength puzzle.
And this will be easy. Shockus is usually either a very easy gym leader or a very hard gym leader, depending on the Pokemon you're using. Yep, no surprises there. And now, we get the Act Punch, and we get the ability to fly. And as for fly, we talk to this chick, his wife. Now we're back in Azalea Town. Well, first, let's go pick up the Pokeball. Netball. Now you're gonna make a nest ball. Okay. You'd think the blue apricorn would be the net balls. Um oh, apricorn. And the red one would be the nest ball, because the nest ball is analogous to the level ball and the net ball to the lure ball. So the reason I'm coming down here is now that I have access to strength and surf, I can get access to a couple things. You know what? Let's quickly pop a super repel. So first things first, let's go this way. We talk to this guy, and we get King's Rock. That is a chance to make things flinch. Not a very high one, but it can happen. So I'm actually going to give that to uh, Galad here. And this contains Rain Dance. That could come in handy. Now we're back here at the lighthouse, so let's go upstairs and heal Ampharos. Here's your medicine. Okay, her sprite just did something really, really weird. Anyways, now we gotta go downstairs. And we're actually going to save. Because you might have noticed something. Hey, you see Axel up there? Yeah. Now, I believe you act I believe this is actually optional, but I always take them on. Because you actually get something from it. Alright, fine. That was all the setup I could afford to do. Yep, that's it. And this is how you get the last of the flutes. Now, in theory, you could take them down to the island with the pedestals on them, unless they're bugs. And put them there, and then after the game's third act, the legendary birds will show up in their various locations. But, well, since I won't be able to use any of them, I have no incentive to do that. So I'd rather keep those items, as they are reusable healing items. For sleep, confusion, and attraction. Oh, right, Zane wants to ambush you too. Alright, well, if you're going to be that way, I'm going to take full advantage of it. Yeah, have fun dealing with six Calm Mines. Oh, you tank that. Well, it is an Umbreon. I'm not terribly surprised. Believe it. You let me set up six Calm Mines, you dipshit. Now we're finally here in the gym. I take on Jasmine for my sixth badge. Yeah, we're being pretty productive this episode.
You're down. You're down too. Oh, how good that did ya. That was easy. So anyways, I guess we'll go back to Ecritique City now. I guess we have time for one more thing. Let's actually go in here and see what I could get now that I have, so now I have access to strength. Uh, quick, quick repel. Go downstairs. And back here is the TM4 Endure. I don't know if I'm ever going to use this. In fact, I'm pretty sure I won't. But, whatever. It's there. I might even sell it. I don't know. Anyways, I think that'll do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out the Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.